I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a scarecrow pumpkin. I'm going to take three fingers over here on the right and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down, around, up, connect. Right here at the top I'm going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. I come on the inside and I'm going to draw one, two, three slightly curved lines. One, two, three slightly curved lines. Right here in the center, one, two, three slightly curved lines. And now right here I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line. Come back to the left, mimic it. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come inside this space and just draw a little curve line on the left and a little curve line on the right. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with my black and I'm going to fill this in with my black also. Just to get it out of the way. Then I'm going to draw slightly curved line down, curved lines, slightly curved lines down, and connect. I come right here in the center and I'm going to draw a straight line out and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines. I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to draw a straight line out, straight line up, one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines. I start back at the top on the right and I'm just going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, and connect. And I come over here and I'm just going to draw a straight line to about this point and a straight line up. Because right here at this point I'm just going to draw a curved line Curve line, curve line up, connect, come inside, curve line down, curve line up, connect, one more if you can fit it, curve line, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Right at this point I'm just going to draw curve line down, curve line up, connect, right here at the bottom, curve line out, in, curve line out, in, curve line out, in, connect, and now one straight line down off the page, another straight line down off the page. I come over here, let's put two fingers and put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line up on the right, come back to the dot, curve line up on the left. Come down with a curve line on the left, curve line on the right, little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right, big curve line connect on the left, big curve line connect on the right. Come over on the right and just draw another curve line down. Come on the left, another curve line down. Come right here in the middle, one big flat oval, Another big flat oval, straight line, straight line inside, little curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. If you have room, wavy wavy line on the left, wavy wavy line on the right. Come over here, up here at the top of the left, let's put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line. And now a curve line back in, up, connect. Right here, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line out, wavy, wavy line back, and connect. Come over here on the left, wavy line out, wavy line back, 
off the page. One more down here on the right. Wavy line out, wavy line in, off the page. Now we're just going to draw little baby circles all the way around and down our picture. Wherever you see a space, you can put a baby circle. Okay? Mm, I think that's all. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my green and color this space right up here on top. Then I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color this space yellow. I'm going to color these yellow right here and here. And I'm going to color this little space, if you have room, yellow. Okay? Next, I take my orange. I'm going to color this space right here, orange. And I'm going to color this space right here, orange. Okay. Now, once I've got these main parts, the rest of this, you can kind of have fun coloring any way you want. It is a scarecrow, so I'm going to make these brown on the right, jump over, and I'm going to make this brown also. Come down and make this space brown also. Okay? Then, I'm going to take gray. I'm going to color the outside space of my owl. Now, you may make your owl any colors you want. This is the color that I chose. I'm going to leave his tummy white. Now I come over to this space. I'm going to color this gray. I'm going to color this gray all the way over. Okay, I'm going to color this space gray, and I'm going to color this space gray. Okay, next, I take my black, and I color this part black. Now, you can color this any way you want. These are the colors I chose, but because you can do it any colors you want, you're the artist. So this should be black for me. And this little space black also. Now, the last part. I'm going to take my blue, regular blue, and I'm going to loop de loop all the way around for my background. These little baby circles, I'm going to leave those alone. And I'm going to leave my wavy lines alone and pretend that those are clouds and stars. Now, if you want to, this also you can make some choices. You don't have to color blue. You can make some other color choices if you wish. This is just what I used. All the way across, all the way down. Now, if you're using a loop-de-loop -loop line to fill this in. You shouldn't have your hand fall off from pressing too hard. And if you want, like I always say, you can draw one session, color in your details first for another session, and then your last session could be coloring in all of this blue. It's up to you, your choice. And as you can see, mine's not nearly going to be as colored in well as yours will be. It does take a while. Okay? You get the general idea. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay. Here is my scarecrow pumpkin all colored in. Okay. 
拜拜。